Hey, it's Triple J from Buddy Automotive Innovations here to show you Inventory Buddy version 7.2 and the new integration with VinMatch Pro. So the first thing we want to do is in, uh, enable our integration with VinMatch Pro. So on our PC side, we're going to go into Inventory Buddy, go to the Settings tab, and then Third Party Integration. And on that first tab is VinMatch Pro now. You'll enter in your email address and VinMatch Pro password, and you'll hit Login. All right, that's going to verify your account is all good. And then it'll also automatically check off these. Uh, it's going to create an image that saves to your vehicle record of the report itself and an image of the history report. So when you upload the vehicle into your PowerLink or Pinnacle system, it's going to put an image on the vehicle to, to prove what the build sheet was and to prove what the mileage history was on the car. You also need to go to the website, though, and, and enable a setting on their website. So I'm going to click the sign up button there and the sign up subscribe button brings up their website. After you log in, you want to hit the gear icon and then say buddy integration. And on this tab here, you want to make sure bid buddy or inventory buddy is checked off inventory buddy in this case, make sure that's checked off to authorize us to use uh, VinMatch Pro in your inventory buddy. And now that we have that, the next car that we download from our IMS will automatically have the VinMatch Pro report on the vehicle. So let's go to our tablet, and here we have this 2019 Traverse I just did. I'm going to inventory this car. So right on the first page, here's the VinMatch Pro report is available. On the common option codes, the VinMatch Pro available there as well. You also have an increased character limit, character limit here. You can now have 20 characters in this field, where you could only have 10 before, I believe it was. All right, here's our recalls. First part would be an engine assembly. So we'll say yes to that. And on this page, we have a new enhancement as well. So if you click on the part type and then the VIN number, you can see the breakdown. So if you need to know what VIN 8 is, you can check there really quick instead of having to count out the digits in the VIN. We can access our VIN match pro report as well from here. And we wanna see if this is a uh, 3.6 liter. And in fact it is. Uh, so you can search just like we do on the previous stuff. Just type in a, a little search field here. Uh, engine 3.6 liter. You'll also see the mileage histories at the bottom of this screen. So uh, different mileage histories that were available. I'm going to pick that 3.6 liter. So right now our condition and options is blank. So we can actually utilize VinMatch Pro to create descriptions. So if we wanted to have this to say, this information here, the LFY RPO code, 3.6 liter V6. I can highlight whatever text I want, add selected text to description, and there it is in my part, in the description of the part. You can do that over and over again if you need to. Another new feature, so before this use IC and user would copy this into the condition options automatically, but now there's a new feature if you just want, let's say, VIN W to show up. If you highlight it and then use that button, it only copies down to VIN W. So that's an enhancement for you as well. If I go to the Note tab, I can do the same thing here. I can go Special. So when you're on the Notes tab, as opposed to the Description tab, the Notes tab, when I use this VinMatch Pro, and if I do Engine, um, I can copy this entire line that way. I have more space now, obviously, in the Notes field. And I can do it again. Let's say uh, mechanical. We get this more information here, and it puts all that in the, into the notes field for us. And a reference number for PowerLink. This is a new field for PowerLink customers that's been added to Inventory Buddy as well for you. And we'll just do one more part for giggles here. Uh, automatic and if we want to put any kind of information in that we got the mv3 we'll add that text perfect also this field here the condition option or a user description field in uh, pinnacle now allows 2000 characters uh, in inventory buddy so we've increased that maximum length for you as well I'm going to go ahead and save that. Uh, also, when you go to take pictures, a little enhancement 
uh, there was a problem if you went to take pictures of a vehicle, when you exited the camera, the rotation of the tablet would kind of get messed up, or the screen wouldn't be the right size. That was because the keyboard was left open when you started taking pictures. So now the keyboard will automatically close before we open the camera app so that it does not have that rotational issue after you finish taking the pictures and come back to the vehicle. I will go ahead and finalize, send this to the final desktop review. While I'm on the tablet here, another new little thing. Uh, when you export changes to IMS for the loose parts side of this, of this, it no longer asks you if you want to finalize changes in the database. It just prompts you to download a new database from your PowerLink or Hollander or for your PowerLink or Pinnacle system. Uh, downloads are happening so fast now, there's no really reason to try and skip a new download. So we encourage you to download fresh data after you incorporate those changes into your Pinnacle or PowerLink instead of uh, trying to make a database static from where you were at. So now if we go back over to our FDR, we're back at our desk. I'm going to uh, refresh this listing, uh, inventory. There's that 2019 Traverse we were just looking at. I'll work on that vehicle. We'll see the VinMatch Pro integration here. If I go to the part tab, we'll open up this engine. And we can see all the stuff we've already done there. But if we go to the VIN services, the VIN Match Pro, you'll see some new boxes up top. And uh, so if I click on, if I search the engine out, so that, so right away, if I highlight it, you can see it says copy text into the user description or copy text into the inventory notes. Now, if I wanted to only put some of this text, I could highlight the text in this line up here because you can't highlight individually characters down here. Now it says copy selected text. So I'll copy just that selected text down into the notes for you. So that is the new enhancements within uh, Inventory Buddy 7.2 with VinMatch Pro.